Hey guys, this is Cher of Sharedness.com here to give you an updated review on painless traffic. Um, I'm already over a week in and we're going to review just how um, painless traffic has been doing. First, let's go and make sure of the time at whattimeisit.com. Um, today is January 9th and it's um, I'm Eastern Standard Time and I started this um, January 1st I actually got the painless traffic and I put in my two links and so far from that day to the ninth I only got nine nine hits which is kind of like nine views nine visitors that's it and off of these two links um, here is one of the links of which I was promoting to get traffic to this is the blog and I did add some new stuff not a whole lot but I did add a couple more things another article some videos things like that now since joining painless traffic only nine short days ago they I I noticed that they made uh, a couple of additions to their program one would be this six-week uh, seminar where I guess this being the first week kind of gives a detail of what panel traffic is, how it really works, what links that you should be, what type of links you should be using. Basically they're saying squeeze pages and that is important to build a list. And I think I got the most out of the first video than uh, anything else that gave me a better understanding of panel traffic. And then these are other videos, week two and three, which kind of uh, gives examples on how to do certain things and use painless traffic. Okay. In the system training, it's three videos. And I guess you don't really need much when all you're doing is adding a a link and picking your categories. Now, in the what do you call it? The um, promotional video that got me to sign up with Painless Traffic said it's just as simple as putting your ClickBank hop link here and getting traffic to it. And then when you get inside here, it says you know it's probably not best to do to do that, and that they would more so say do squeeze page. The other thing that I would say that was beneficial is the bonus to squeeze pages because it's a lot more in that than, than just two squeeze pages. They do have it packed with a, a lot of stuff which is nice. The Twitter one and they do have more than two squeeze pages I noticed inside of this package which is good. Um, I chose the Twitter one and you can kind of customize it to fit your needs or your likes or whatever. I decided to do something different that I don't see anyone <laughs> ever doing with squeeze, squeeze pages and probably there's probably a reason why they don't do that but I just did it just to see what would happen. I added some uh, AdSense here and I also added this link that takes you to another um, product and then you have your opt-in form and uh, the squeeze page also comes with a thank you page which, which is also great and um, all this right here at the bottom is what I added because that's what I do with all my squeeze pages um, and this is kind of it I don't recommend using it because if they're selling this product like crazy and they're offering 
mainly these two squeeze pages along with probably just a couple others I think it's only two more so it's probably like a total of three or four I believe um, I don't recommend using it because if they're selling the product like crazy you're not the only one using this Twitter page so it's kind of saturated when you are using the same thing because this is what the squeeze page comes with everything that I highlighted along with the image so what I am going to do is I'm going to do another week uh, review I'm going to copy the link that I did for this squeeze page I did not go out my way to buy a domain name for the squeeze page I just you know did subdomain so what I would do is to edit or change this I'm going to click edit hit OK OK they want me to log in <laughs> let's do it again let's go edit OK and I'm going to edit the first one so all I do is I select all of this delete it out of there and then I'm going to control V and copy twitterprofits.sharethis.com which is how you do subdomains and I'm going to choose a category for this I, I don't, I'm not for sure what I would do for Twitter profits but I think I will keep affiliate op, uh, marketing hmm. and I will also choose Okay, wow, well, okay, I didn't see that. So I will t put Twitter for my first category. Okay, so for the first category, I will choose Twitter. Or better yet, I would choose Twitter Secrets. Second category, let's choose. the affiliate marketing okay and I'm going to click edit URL and I guess this has to somehow update because there's no way I got nine hits already for that I'm going to refresh the page and just see what see what happens that's where it's showing nine for this one I thought that once I changed and put in a different URL that it would go back to zero so we won't count that as nine views um, inside the this one video it says it talks about not giving up don't expect you know something so great in 30 days and that you need to keep it longer and give it time to process and things like that. Um, huh. All right, this is where things get a little bit tricky because what I want to tell you is I'm not impressed by nine hits. Um, I'm not impressed too much at all. And I, survive, I advise you, if you do try it, to get a stat counter, the code, put inside of your blogging site so that you'll know where the traffic is coming from and how much traffic you're actually getting. And don't do any promoting of your own for a particular squeeze page like this so you'll know what's coming from the traffic, the painless traffic system. And you know so that you'll know where it's coming from that's my point um, I'm not impressed by by nine views at all because I can get nine views on my own you know in a day or less time in an hour I could just post this link on my Facebook where I got close to 3,000 followers and out of 3,000 you know, ten or whoever will click and you know view it. 
um, the Clickbank link, which this is this is another very important thing that does not make any sense to me. Now, the Clickbank link that I had here before had um, what do you call it? Um, uh, let's go to Clickbank real quickly, and I'll show you what I'm. Uh -oh. Bank. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I can't think of it offhand. I don't know why. But um, let's say we just put in panelist traffic. Okay, come on, search. And you know where you click um, to promote a product. Tracking ID. That's it. Couldn't get it. Tracking ID. Now I put a tracking ID on that particular um, hop link and I checked in Clickbank and it's showing zero that there was no traffic at all because even if you don't make a sale and there's actually traffic coming to the link it'll show well the link got this many hits it'll show that in Clickbank that your link got this many hits and what Clickbank does that I just found out recently is that they pay for impressions too because for another link that I was promoting that I didn't get any sales I did get like a dollar and thirty two cents for that day in impressions didn't know could they did that but now I know which is good so that just kind of leaves me skeptical I'm only going to give this thing another week if there's no real significant change and I'm only doing this uh, to kind of give a review for the product for you before you go and buy and it's okay to try because otherwise I would have just canceled it because I'm not impressed with, with, with nine not at all um, let's see um, we're gonna try this for another week see how it goes you know see if anything changed I will keep adding to the uh, I will keep adding to this vlog right here which I think is done pretty well to be snapped together so fast I'll keep adding to this and then the other link I will keep adding tweaking and testing this will not keep doing it but I'll do it enough to where it's sufficient but that is my review and also another thing I'm not crazy about their their categories I think you can either it's okay no, that's all I can say I can just say it's okay they have a spot where you can suggest categories um, oh yeah this is another part I'm not crazy about these the products that they say um, what is this category called recommended campaigns Meaning these are some clickbank products that they're saying, okay, you should, you know, promote this. Okay, I could have figured that out on my own by going to Clickbank or going to somewhere like TV Engine where it gives like uh, good products to promote. Okay. But for other people that might not know it is helpful. I can say that. But that this concludes my review this week for painless traffic and I will come to you next week and and we'll see if there's been any change and we'll see definitely if this changed but just know this right here I just put it here and I, for some reason this hit number from the last link did not change I do not know why and um, I was testing it out to see if it would even be worth adding the additional 20 slots. The additional 20 slots does not affect the two that you are using. It's not like if you get more slots then you know something more will happen. It's, it's not like that. Okay. So this time, this concludes my review for Painless Traffic. This is Cher of ShareThis.com. See you later.